Hello, it's Ali. Welcome to the part 13 of my 3D printed 8 scale Toyota Supra. In the previous video, we worked on the electronics and the wires. Over the camera, I also organized these cables. Right now, it's out of the way, so we can test the car without damaging any wire. And then I have these hinges. Some of you asked me how I put the trunk on, so we're gonna put the trunk on and then the doors. I'm not sure about the door because I still have to work, that's why I haven't put the door on. And for those of you asking me about the hood, I have the hood but I'm not sure if it will touch the fan because it's very close right now. I have to make it a bit curvy but I haven't figured out the hinges for now. That's why I just want to make sure the car works and then I will work on the hood. But for now I will put the trunk on and also I have the spoiler and then I have the nitro. We're going to start the engine. Here's the trunk and here's the spoiler. I also have other file without hole, so if you like to do this, you can use it. But I like the legendary spoiler, so I'm gonna put it on. And it will need only two screws. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is offering 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and injection molding. You just have to put the file and it will tell you the price and shipping date. PCBWay's link in the video description box below for more information. Thanks for PCBWay's for sponsoring this video. This video also brought to you by these Patreon members. Alright, next we have the hinges. Here's the hinge number one. This will be on the trunk and the other one will be on the body. This is how you're gonna put it on. And you will need a 2mm shaft for this and I have a nail that exactly is 2 millimeter, so I'm gonna put it on and then I will put M3 bolt one here and one here this will be on the chassis and the other one will be on the trunk Alright, here is the trunk hinges and the spoiler just like you asked it but I'm not gonna put the roof on for now and the doors because I still have to adjust the servos. I connected all the wires of the servo and put it on one channel each. So I have two channels here and they are mixed one cha with one channel reverse. So this servo with this servo and this servo with this servo and it's mixed it on this and one reverse so now i will adjust the arms so the whole car will be balanced when it gets up and goes down and then i will fill it up and start it up hopefully it will start right away Okay, all the channels been connected. Now I can move it and it comes out instantly and it's balanced like the front and the back all the balanced. Okay, we have everything now. Let's fill the fuel tank and start it up.
I took the wire out and the glow plug looks like it's leaking fuel here so I'm gonna have to take it out and see but it's not even loose so I'll take it out and we're gonna do this next try I took the glow plug out and this was between the thread and the glow plug so it was making it leak I'm gonna put it back and clean it and see how it's gonna go Looks like the belt getting loose even though I tighten up a few times but because there's fuel on it and it slips every time I turn the engine on and now it has some missing teeth that's why you hear that sound and it's slipping every time so now I have to order a new belt and keep it dry so we don't have that problem. Alright, it starts up but it has to stay at the high RPM, if it's lower than half it will shut it off. I also adjusted the carburetor but it's still sending so much fuel and we can see it comes out from the exhaust. So I'm gonna have to take it off and see why it's not holding the fuel. But overall it starts up and I don't have any problem even with the cable and the battery can supply the voltage to the glow plugs and the starter motor so we solve that but the only thing I have to adjust is the carburetor and then we have to take it out and change the gears and see how it's gonna go